pouring rain. And suddenly, out of nowhere, appeared a young man walking alongside the road. Anybody want to guess what he was wearing? Oh, oh, you guys are better than the last group. I like that. Everybody's listening. That's right, a long, dark coat. So the lady saw this, and she felt sorry for him. So she said to the husband, she says, why don't we stop and offer this guy a ride? So the husband said, okay. So he stopped the car, she rolled her window down, she said, young man, would you like a ride? You must be frozen to the bone. He said, why yes, thank you. Then he got in the back seat of the car, he closed the door, and she said, there's a blanket back there. She says, go ahead and wrap yourself in that blanket if you'd like. Make you kind of warm, right? So they drove on. She said, what's your, uh, what's your name, young man? She said, my name is Wallace. Oh, and um, where are you heading on such a horrible day? Oh, I'm heading home. She said, oh, all right, well, where's home? Oh, it's not far, I'll show you. Can you all see that white house in front of us? All right, that is the original Gale house, the original farmhouse that was built in 1848, as was the barn behind me. So, when they arrived at this property, the young man Wallace thanked them, and he got out of the car, and he went up towards the house. The couple drove off. The next day they were coming back this way. And the woman said to her husband, hey, why don't we stop and check on that young man? And you know, she said, I want my blanket back. He said, okay. They got here, she got out of the car, she went up to the door, she knocked on the door. An elderly gentleman answered the door. He said, may I help you? She said, yes, we're here to check on Wallace. He said, Wallace? He said, you must be mistaken, ma'am. He says, there's nobody here by that name. And she said, oh, there must be. And she told him the whole story, how they picked this guy up yesterday, and the rain, the blanket, the whole nine yards. He said, ma'am, I don't know how to break this to you, but the only Wallace that you could possibly be talking about is buried six feet underground across the street in that cemetery for about 160 years. How did he look? She said he looked pretty good. <laughs> the woman thanked him and got back in the car. And she told her husband, go over to that cemetery. So they swung the car around. They went over there. By the way, if you're curious, you can go in there and find that tombstone. The gates are open. I went there yesterday. I found Wallace's tombstone. As they did. And the inscription on that tombstone is as follows. H. W. Gale. 1843 to 1863. Killed in action in Tennessee. It's hard to read, but it's there. And when this couple looked down, the lady's blanket was at the bottom of the tombstone. Think about it. 